born in Belo Horizonte, um, but that was just so my mom just wanted us, us to be born there because that was where she's from. But we were actually living in Sao Paulo, so we came back to Sao Paulo to leave. So that's where we spent our childhood, and it was pretty good, you know. Um, my dad had a real good job. He was an uh, ambassador of Italy in Brazil. Uh, my mom was a model, you know. Uh, she did like commercials and stuff like that on TV and and uh, even took a lot of pictures in magazines and stuff. Uh, so we live in a pretty cool area and our favorite thing was soccer. So we just uh, love to go to soccer games. We went to all the games with my dad and play soccer a lot. So that was pretty much our childhood until my dad died and then everything changed, you know. We became really poor and stuff, you know. So that's like the second, that's when we got into metal. My dad used to play acoustic guitar and sing Italian songs. And he was a huge fan of opera. Um, so he listened to a lot of music, had like a real nice sound system, you know, and have thousands of LPs, you know. and. So I think uh, maybe the combination of my dad and my mom kind of you know, gave us the kind of the spark of, of uh, a little bit what we use in the future in the metal, you know, in our own life, you know, it's a combination of the, uh, of the both, you know. In, in the beginning we really just wanted to sound like the bands that we love, you know, so mostly, especially big European uh, influence, like Destruction, Creator, Celtic Frost, you know, is very evident on the Best of Devastation EP and Morb Divisions. Um, we used to do Corpse Paint, you know, all that stuff, and uh, that was because of Hellhammer, because Hellhammer did that, so we decided to do it. Yeah, I was pretty wild uh, on my, uh, during my uh, 20s and 30s, I think just after the 30s that I actually mellow out. You know, uh, and I was always, uh, you know, flirting with drugs and drinking and stuff that could have gone really wrong. I overdosed once in Canada, took a lot of painkillers and drank and ended up waking up in a hospital. You know, there's uh, there's crazy stories of me in Europe drinking uh, hand sanitizer. You know, I, didn't, I wanted to drink something. Hand sanitizer was the only thing available. <laughs> That was it, I drank that, you know, so that was pretty crazy, you know, very wild. So, you know, at, at some points I, I thought one of these days is going to catch up and I'm going to be done. But that didn't happen, so I guess, you know, God or whoever had a different plan. Um, and I guess I was supposed to stick around for a little longer. <laughs> the result of that was actually going uh, more time we were spending outside Brazil. It was. It made us m realize more a lot of cool stuff that was in Brazil, you know. So it took us to go away from Brazil to actually realize there's a lot of cool stuff uh, in our own country that we should explore, you know. So I think that was a, a combination of things that started uh, very little on our rise. It became a lot more evident on Chaos AD with stuff like Kaiovas and some of the rhythm patterns that Igor was doing was very, um, you know, tribal oriented drum beats. And then Roots was when we went full on, you know, and then we went recorded with the tribe and everything. So it was like uh, a very, very different record to make, you know, and, and uh, in the center of the album, there was this whole thing about going to Brazil and recording with the tribe and getting painted and the Indian on the front, on the cover, and it was the whole package, it was the image, the whole roots, the whole record had a very stylistic style that was very cool, you know, so, um, but it was not something that happened like that, it was like building up through the years, you know. It's, it's kind of one of those records that says nothing is impossible, you know, everything is can be done if you want it, you know, it's, it's a, so it's a very uh, breaking barrier kind of record for me, I think, and I think what I learned about Roots was um, that metal can be different, you know, it doesn't need to 
be the same thing over and over. You can actually uh, do different stuff with it. And I'm so happy that it has influenced all the bands, you know, including Slipknot and System of a Down, all the way to Malakash and stuff like that. So uh, I think Roots was kind of like one of a unique record that broke all kinds of barriers. It's a really cool idea, I think, because I think uh, for a lot of people, never got to see the, the the Roots tour or anything like that. And it's really, it's even more different from the Roots tour itself because the Roots tour, we didn't play all the songs like we're playing now. So this is a full on entire record, exactly how it is on the CD. We play everything, even with It's Sorry, right in the middle, which is the tribal song, and Igor does drums on top of it which is kind of like, it's a really cool moment of the show, which I think stops everything. Everybody just watches like a movie, you know, it's, I, I noticed on this tour, that's the moment of the show that I think is the most interesting. Because the beginning is all everybody going crazy, you know, mosh pit, circle pit. And then when it cycles, everybody stops and watches, you know, and then it goes back to the madness, you know. Uh, so I think that's really cool. We never done anything like that before. I never done a whole record like that. And I think it's uh, it's really cool that me and Igor get to do that after 20 years. You know, the album uh, has grown a lot of people's life. And I think a lot, for a lot of people that album was very important. So they come back and, and they're so happy to see that now. And then there's uh, all the young kids that never got to see that. They were even born when Roots came out. They also get to see it. And, uh, and it sounds fantastic because we have a really good band playing you know with Mark Rizzo and Johnny Chow so uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a really really um, I think really well done project so it's a it's a big success I think this tour is one of a kind